Hey, yo, this is kind of like part two about what I was talking about the first time Onyx heard Wu-Ting and shit, you know what I mean? Because DJ Premier always talks about the first time he heard Wu-Tang, he was with Onyx in the club and we was wilding. But the first time Onyx heard Wu-Tang, we was in the crib in Jersey, like two in the morning and shit, you know what I'm saying? Stretching Bobito playing and shit. So the whole crew, we got the whole Onyx crew in the crib, you know what I'm saying? We got the sick crib, shit crazy, so... We wild into this shit. Protect your neck came on. This shit was crazy. Niggas was like, oh, shit. Ah. Wilding, you know what I'm saying? We got the Hennessy. You know, the Blunts is rocking. And everybody in the crib was just like, yo, I like I like this dude. I like that dude. I was probably like, I like Method Man. This thing probably was like, I like Old Dirty Bassett. One nigga probably said, I'm like, I like Raekwon or whatever. You know what I mean? We was just gravitating to who we thought was ill on that track. So, But here's the shit, though. There was an A&R for Dev Jam. She was a female, you know what I'm saying? And she was with us that night. She was in the crib. She was like, down with Onyx, you know what I'm saying? Like, part of, the, part of the structure. So she was with us in the crib that night when Protect Your Neck came on. Now, what A&R job is, they could sign artists to the label. She had signing power. She was that bitch, you know what I'm saying? She was, she was that bitch at Dev Jam. She had signing power. She was high up, you know what I mean? And she was with us. The first day, the first time we heard Wu-Tang. So she was like, I don't like this shit. You know what I mean? I'm not really feeling it. I'm like, what? We like, world, you ain't feeling this shit? This shit crazy. Ah. Make a long story short, two or three weeks later, met the man get signed a death chair. <laughs> we like, oh, word? Her? And she signed them to Def Jam. She was the one who signed them. So we like, oh, I thought you ain't like this shit. You know what I'm saying? So basically, you know what I'm saying? She, the first time she heard Wu-Tang, she was with us. And the energy we was putting into that, you know what I'm saying? She did her thing. And Method Man got signed to Def Jam, one of the realest, realest niggas in the game. You know what I mean? We got a song called, we did a joint called Evil Streets Remix. A lot of niggas probably never even heard that shit. Shout out to my nigga P.I. He was on a joint. Method Man came to the studio, stayed there the whole night. You know what I mean? Like, he ain't even... After, after he did his verse, he stayed there the whole night till the record was mixed. Word, real nigga. Shout out to Rich Keller, who's mixing all our records back then. But that Evil Street remix is crazy, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, Method Man got signed to Def Jam off, off the energy that we brought to, 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 to the A&R, you know what I mean? Or somebody else might have scooped him up. So she got in early. Word. Word up, man. We got a lot of stories with the Wu-Tang Clan, man. Onyx and Wu, we've been through a lot, you know what I mean? You know, we got a record called The Worst. You know what I mean? That was for the um the Ride soundtrack, a movie that me and Sticky was um starring in. And um we got a nice bag for that joint. But the worst, you know, the worst is crazy, produced by my man Latif. Latif. And um we was on tour with the Wu. We did the Survival of the Illest tour. That was that's just a whole nother story. The Survival of the Illest tour was crazy. Onyx. DMX, Ja Rule, Wu Chang, the whole EPMD crew, Redman, all them niggas, everybody on one bus, Foxy Brown, Sweet T, Pretty Boy, everybody was on one fucking bus, bro. That shit was crazy. That survival of the illest shit was crazy. But um, yeah, man. Method Man got signed to Wu Chang off off that energy that we brought in the in the, in the A and R scene at, man. That shit was crazy. Shout to Meth, you already know.